Hey, this is Al Bain at Al Bain for Leather, and let's talk about belts and how to get the right size for your needs, okay? Okay, so you want to buy a belt, don't know what size, but you know your pant size. Pant size and belt size are not the same thing, okay? Especially if you wear a hip slinger style belt where it's not really there to hold up your pants, it's just there to look cool like a rock and roll guy or gal, okay? So just to get the basic measurement, take your favorite belt, put it on, and make note where the buckle is going through the leather. Okay. Now take that same belt, put it here on the table. Lay it out flat and see this is the zero and the zero is on the inside edge of the buckle. Okay. Don't mind this 72 because it's not it. This is the side we're measuring with. So zero and zero inside the frame of the buckle. And then we come down here and this particular belt measures size 36. Okay. So Typically, we want the belt buckle to land in the center, so if you gain a little weight, you can get a little longer, or lose some weight, you can get a little shorter. Now, that's cool if you're just going to wear the belt to hold up your pants, but if you want to wear a hip slinger belt and sometimes hold up your pants, so what we'll do is we'll hold up your pants at this hole, so you tell me you wear a size 36 to hold up your pants, we're going to make this size 36. And then you want a hip sling, and you have all this extra adjuster to get out to where the belt's going to hang cool and low and off your hip, just like all the cool rock and roll kids. All right, does that make sense? So I hope this information is helpful. If you need a little more help, don't hesitate to call, email, text, whatever works for you. And... Uh, we only ask for one thing, have a good day and please pay it forward.